Hello and welcome back to our video roundup. I'm Caroline Williams and I'm going to take you through some of the best science videos of the past week. First we have chimps with remarkable memories. New Scientist reporter Rowan Hooper tells us how they tested the chimps' memories at Kyoto University in Japan. In this test, the numbers 1 to 9 were quickly replaced by blank squares and the chimp had to remember their position on the screen. The three young chimps tested were all very good at the task, leading researchers to believe they had something similar to photographic memory. Young chimps outperformed both their mothers and human university students. When the numbers were flashed on the screen for shorter periods of time, humans had trouble remembering their order, whereas the chimps performed just as well. It's the first time chimps have beaten humans at a memory test. Wow, they really put us humans to shame. And the researchers say it's not just these particular chimps that can do this. All chimps will have similar abilities. It's also said that elephants never forget. Now researchers at St Andrews University in the UK have found out it might be more than just a saying. Sandrine Kersamont tells us more. Here at Ambosley National Park in Kenya, the ground was covered with urine from Barbara the elephant, who was one kilometre away. When her family walks by, they pause to investigate. Both Mother Beatrice and her calf have a few sniffs. Another family also stops to smell the urine of a family member who is far behind the group. Researchers think the elephants are picking up cues to keep track of her location, even when she's out of sight. Elephants did not stop when they came across urine from an unrelated elephant. Here the whole family walks away, without pausing for even a quick sniff. So whereas some animals use urine to mark their territory, elephants seem to use it to keep tabs on their family. Thank goodness humans don't use these kind of tactics. Apparently the elephants also use vocalizations to keep in touch with their family when they're out of sight. Now while elephants are trying to stick together, some researchers are trying to make sure oil doesn't stick. Researchers at MIT have designed a new oil-proof material that could be useful for protecting parts of rockets and aircrafts if they get soaked with fuel. The material resembles tissue paper and is made of a mesh of fibres and air pockets that keep the oil at the surface so it can't actually wet the material. Since oil-repelling materials don't exist in nature, the researchers had to be creative. They synthesised a molecule called fluoropos and blended it with a common polymer to create the fabric. Our next video involves another repellent, this time an antidote to the powerful venom of the jewel wasp. Sandrine Kersamont takes up the story. In the French Polynesian islands, jewel wasps and cockroaches take part in a bizarre ritual. A female jewel wasp stings a cockroach, injecting venom right into the cockroach's brain. The cockroach becomes partially paralyzed and loses the will and ability to get away. The wasp takes advantage of the zombie cockroach, pulling it by its antenna and taking it captive in her burrow. Then she lays an egg on the cockroach's abdomen. Over a period of eight days, the zombie cockroach is fed to the wasp's young. The larva hatches, chews a hole into the cockroach's belly, and slowly eats it from the inside out. Scientists at Ben Gurion University in Israel have now found out how to stop a cockroach from turning into a zombie. When a drug similar to a brain chemical called octopamine was injected into a roach's brain, it was able to get up and walk away. But the discovery didn't happen in time for this poor cockroach to escape its fateful end. The well-fed baby wasp leaves the roach carcass behind and ventures into the world. Strangely, octopamine can also be found in our spinal cords. Researchers are going to be looking at what it's doing there. And that's all for this week. For more science videos and stories, check out our website or buy the magazine. Bye for now.